What is erosion? How does it work? And why does the Gulf of America have a dead zone the size of Massachusetts? I'm so glad you asked. This is an ephemeral gully. Ephemeral simply meaning that it comes and goes and reappears now and then. Kind of like your ex-boyfriend in your DMs. And since there's nothing currently growing in this field right now, there's no roots to actually hold the soil in place. You can think of plant roots kind of like anchors that web out into the soil and just keep the soil there where it belongs. So when the rains come, or in this case when the snow melts, soil particles at the very top of this field gully that have nothing to hold on to will wash down to the nearest waterway or ditch. And from that ditch, they'll make their way onto a stream. From that stream, they'll find a river. And from that river, they'll end up in the Mississippi, which then ends up in the Gulf of America. The average erosion rate in Iowa is this hurts literally just saying it every time 5.2 tons per acre per year yes i said that correctly look it up and although that is just an average you have to take in all the different things like soil type topography weather and a handful of other variables that affect that average that's still a crap ton of dirt let's break that down right here this field is 52 acres so if we're going to take the average soil erosion rate of five tons per acre that's 260 tons of topsoil coming out of this just this one field every single year. I've always had a hard time actually visualizing tons of soil, but depending on the soil density of the soil type, that is about 260 tons of soil, topsoil, is about 10 semi truckloads of soil. Still don't think we have a soil erosion problem in agriculture.